Hey everyone, welcome back to Comic Frontline. Jay here with another review. Today I'm going to do a digital first review of The Flash Season 0, Chapter 1. The title of this chapter is Freak Show, Part 1, The Strong Man Cometh. Stories by Andrew Kreisberg. Script is by Brooke Eichmeyer and Catherine Walkzak. Pencils are by Phil Hester and inks are by... Eric Gapster. Okay, this issue is pretty much an origin story of sorts for Barry Allen, The Flash, and it tells about him. It sets up this like circus type character called the Strong Man and who he's working with, a mysterious guy in the shadows. But more of it, this chapter focuses on Barry introducing himself, not only as Barry Allen and everything that's going on in the police department with Eddie Thorne and the rest of his supporting cast as Iris West and all that, but also his life as the Flash with the people who, like um, Cisco and Caitlin, who are behind the collider that caused the accident that created the Flash. So this is pretty much an origin type thing. Now, there's not much really to tell you about this chapter. The story was okay. I mean, if you didn't see the Flash pilot, it kind of gives you a different twist on the pilot. So I don't think this connects as well as the Arrow Season 2.5 does. This pretty much feels like another beginning for Flash. Like, I, I feel like that's where what this is going. The story, though, is pretty well done. I mean, if I'm just going to rate it on story, it would be a well, very well done story. But you got to rate it as a Flash TV show story. So on that, I'm going to have to give this um, three and a half stars. Because I don't think it really connected you that much to the TV show. It felt more like a different type of a story. Now, the next is the art. The art felt very different than um, a digital first for a TV show. Normally, when you see digital first for a TV show, you want something like Arrow, which kind of blends the comic and the TV show. Or you want something even on a Smallville side, where it does have a little bit of a comic flair, more comic flair to it, we still see that resemblance. I didn't see any resemblance of any of the actors in any of the art here. No one looked like their, their TV counterpart in this at all. This looked very much like an animated series type comic, and that's why I felt like, while I was reading this, like, that it wasn't based on a TV show, but more like a comic version of an animated show and I mean it's good art um, I'm gonna give the art maybe three stars because it doesn't fit for the TV show but if it was just regular art I would probably give it three and a half stars but because it's supposed to be based on this TV show I'm gonna have to deduct a little bit from it and give it three stars now overall I do like the first chapter but I'm not sure if season zero was the right name for it because season zero implies that it takes place before the season starts so I was expecting you know like what happened with Barry Allen before how did he meet Iris and all that like I was expecting that type of build up that would connect to it but this is more like season 1.5 Five, where it's like right in the middle of season one where you're they're going to be weaving tails in and out of season one so it doesn't really fit for me like maybe a season point five or something i don't know how they're going to, how they should call it but it's definitely not season zero because it doesn't take place it's not a prequel to the season this is very much within season one because he's already flash he's already got the costume so, I say, 
overall, I'm going to give this a three and a half, just because I think I thought it was a good read and the art was good. But if it this was for a brand new story, it would probably get a four from me at least. I say pick it up if you're a fan of the Flash. This could actually tie into some of the stuff that they're working on on that series, and you know, check it out. It's a pretty good book. It's a good chapter. You can also collect this digitally, which is going to be on a bi-monthly schedule with Arrow Season 2.5, or you can get this um, when it's collected in printed form and get it that way. I'm getting it digitally, and I think I might be getting this printed also because I like to support these type of books in both forms. Well, those are my thoughts. Now I want to know what yours are in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline, check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater, check out Comic Frontline, the site, for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews. For even more news on all things related to comics, comicrelated.com is your source for all your comic book needs with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow me and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.